Hey, Corey here with Fit Strength and Conditioning. Today I've got a simple workout for you that you can do absolutely anywhere. If you're on the road, you can do it at the hotel, you can do it at home, you can do it at the gym. The only thing that you're gonna need is a single dumbbell. One dumbbell and you're gonna get a killer workout. We're gonna sweat, we're gonna get your heart rate up, and you're gonna burn a ton of calories after the workout ends. It's just three moves, so let's get to it. The first movement is an explosive movement. It's a cross-body dumbbell snatch. If you've ever done a regular dumbbell snatch, a single arm dumbbell snatch, then you're gonna be using a weight that's quite a bit lighter than what you're capable of with a single dumbbell snatch. What you're going to do is start with that dumbbell on your opposite foot. You're gonna hinge at the hips, keep the chest nice and big, just as if you're going down for a deadlift. And you're gonna reach across your body, grab onto that dumbbell. You're gonna have two pulls. The first pull is from the hips. The second pull is going to be that opposite shoulder. You're going to pull the weight close to your body, right in front of your chest. And as it passes your chest, you're going to reach for the floor with that opposite hand. And you're going to finish with a nice, long, straight line from the top with that dumbbell all the way to that bottom hand. Bring it back. Load up your hips again and repeat. Do it again. You're going to try to get as many reps as you can in 30 seconds. In your second movement, you're going to use that same arm, so the same arm that was just working and you were doing your cross-body dumbbell snatches with, now you're going to use that arm and you're going to do a cross-body uppercut press. So you're going to take a half kneeling stance, make sure that back toe is curled underneath so you can push those hips forward and engage your glutes. You're going to have a dumbbell in one hand and all you're going to be doing is, as you reach underneath with that dumbbell, you're going to reach under, you're going to Extend that arm up towards the sky, pull the opposite elbow back, bring it back down, drive it up, back down, drive it up, back down, drive it up. You're going to feel this in your chest, you're going to feel this through your bicep, shoulders, core, and you're going to feel it in your glutes as you keep those hips forward as you extend that arm out in front of your body. And your last movement is going to be a single dumbbell skier swing. So similar to doing a kettlebell swing, you're going to have a hip hinge. You're going to have that dumbbell carry back towards your, or past your hips. Chest is nice and big. Load up the hips. Shins are pretty much straight up and down. And you're going to violently and forcefully extend those hips forward. Dumbbell is going to carry out in front of you. Arms are only attaching the dumbbell to the rest of your body. Don't try to raise it up with your arm. Then you're going to pull it right back, load the hips up again, and explode forward, let it carry out. Thighs are tight, glutes are tight, belly is tight. Pull it right back. You're going to get as many reps as you can in 30 seconds. So those are your three moves. You've got a single arm dumbbell cross body snatch. You're going to go for as many reps as you can in 30 seconds. Rest 10 seconds, and then you're right into your second movement. A single arm cross body dumbbell press, same thing. Get as many reps as you can in 30 seconds, rest 10 seconds again, and then you're gonna finish off with a single arm dumbbell skier swing. As many reps as you can get in 30 seconds, rest 10, switch arms, and repeat the whole process. You're gonna go for four rounds, six rounds, eight rounds, or if you're really feeling it today, try 10 rounds. 